Alright, Josh here, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Spot Live series. Today, we're going to be using the team I took to the Sheffield Regionals, and... Should we just jump into some games? Oh, it's been a while. Um, sorry about the... Um, bit of a mishmash schedule over the past two weeks. I'm going to try and... Next week, the schedule should be back to normal. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Should be back to normal from then. From then on. I haven't got anything on for a little bit now. So that's good. Um, what music should we have? Let's have the classic. I've not had this for a bit. I feel like I've not heard this music for ages. Not sure what we're going to do with this team on the on the, uh, on the old ladder. It's not particularly... I've not found it to be particularly great in best of one. I don't know why. But we'll see how we get on. Oh, we found someone. That took a while. Someone from Italia. Oh, with... Um... Oh, this doesn't look fun to play against. Um... Okay, what do I go against this? I played a team very similar to this in the regional, actually. In fact, it was literally... In fact, it was literally this team. It was it was exactly the same as this team. Was that the person? I don't know. Um, where we got Salomons? Um, what's that one's thunderous? I have to bring Groudon. I don't want to bring Groudon, but I actually have to. Um, I should bring Xenius as well. Otherwise, I can't really beat Ferrothorn. <laughs> well, I mean, I can with, with um, Salamans, but it's not ideal. If this is an Adrenaline Orb Crowbat, then I've played this person in the, in the, in the tournament. <laughs> I let this so much of the regional, it's ridiculous. Like, loads. I don't know why, it just felt good. Do we do it? Obviously, that's not going to matter on the old Kyogre. I'm going to get that adrenaline orb. A little, a little adrenaline orb. Oh. Surprisingly, it's a primal Kyogre. The primordial silly now comes up. Right. What should we do, ladies and gents? Should we just Z the Kyogre? <laughs> Hyper voice? I don't see why not. If it doesn't protect, it's dead, pr pretty much. If it protects, then I get a bit of chip. They probably get the Tailwind off. Um, or I could taunt, but it seems a bit... Like, I feel like they should expect the taunt, really. Yeah, there you go, the bullet goes away. It's Ferrothorn. I don't really mind that. The Kyogre should be protecting, like. I'll be super surprised if it doesn't protect. Oh, there you go. Bye bye, Kyogre. <laughs> there you go. Bye bye, Kyogre. I mean, it was so obvious that it was, like, unobvious, but, like. Uh, yeah, that's a dead Kyogre. Like, 100%. Let's go, Thunderous. Thunderous putting in the work straight away. Game one. I mean, Kyogre is not living this after this chip, unless it's got like max HP and special defense investment, but I can't see that happening. Yeah, that's gone. And we got a nice little bit of chip on the, the Ferrothorn, and also this really frees up Groudon, like massively. Um, and it's left up this Ferrothorn. Okay, so I'm just gonna. Rayquaza comes in. Mm, that's a bit more awkward. I'm, I'm gonna thunder wave it. I'm just gonna hide the voice again. I mean, that wasn't over. But I mean, I had a thunderous. You had a Kyogre. Don't risk those things straight away. I guess Electrium Z Thunderous is not common, but like still, like still. I mean, I, I kind of get why they switched Crobat. Like, like they expected me to taunt, obviously. Um, but nah, we're not doing that. We're just going offense mode. 
Did they tailwind it and, and protect it? They would have been in a good spot. But I could have just thunderwave, so that, that's why I wasn't too bothered about it. Like, I could have just thunderwave the Kyogre. Protected Salamence. Then thunderwave the Crobat slot, or something like that. Iker from Spain. The Basque country. Basque county? Country? Oh no, there's a Shed Ninja. Okay, well I don't really mind Shed Ninja too much on this team because there's no Finny to soak it, so I can bring... They clearly know what they're doing! Um, what do I want to bring? Is they just madness work on, on Shed Ninja? Does it? Does it? Does that work? Probably not. Counts as a fairy move. I guess it's only a incineral. I don't want to see a downside to that. Or I could go. Or I could go. Or I could go. I could do my old classic. Let's do that. I don't know what to do. I know what to do. I'm going to go for the sword stance and go with the geomancy. Geomancy sword stance. The best turn one you can have. Okay. So Solomon's Xerneas. Yeah, then Sonius is faster. So we can probably presume that it's max speed Timid. Or max speed Monus, maybe. I suppose we can't presume anything, can we? I mean, I'm tempted to just do what I said and just Geomancy Sword Stance. I mean. I don't think a Hyper Voice plus Boom Blast would even get ground on to be honest. Just Tailwinds. Oh, it's a speed. Did that their fairy all went first though, didn't it? It's just a speed tie. That's a great turn one. <laughs> that was a really good turn. <laughs> like, that was a, such a good turn. I know the Salamence can like do some damage to me now, but like... <laughs> Actually, we'll double edge plus... Hmm. I'm thinking we'll double edge plus... Moonblast get me? I don't think so. Incineral coming here for my opponent? Maybe. I'm gonna press this just in case. Oh, I'll just make it revolving. Well, especially if I go first on the Xerneas, like, I don't think Double should knock me out, like. It will do a lot, though. Oh, they just protect, okay. Double Edge? Yeah. Oh, that does do a lot, for the neck. I actually think it'd do that much. Whoops. I just need to get rid of my opponent's Xerneas. And we're fine. Dun, 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 dun. They'll bring in their Groudon now. And that means I'll have to switch. Will they bring in Incineroar? Yeah, that's a like right on. Well, one press of his blades won't KO my Groudon, and if I moon, if I win the Moonblast speed tie, then we should be good. I'm gonna speed tie though, really. 
Okay. Okay. We may still got Azunia, so that's kind of lame. I'm kill the Incineroar, though. Should have dazzled, really, in hindsight. That was a crit. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was. It went down so fast, I thought it was going to go all the way to the bottom. Nothing going on. I think I lose now. Oh, I think I've lost, haven't I? <laughs> no! Um, yeah, I think I've lost actually. That was good. Uh, I played too aggressive. I should have. I shouldn't have taken the double edge. I should have swapped an instant on projector at the beginning. I've been a bit feisty, haven't I? Been a bit too feisty. How many times I tell you left? Come on. My opponent surely has to attack with both here. They'll just have to protect Rad on. But if they. Mm, yeah, I think they've got to. Uh, I've, do, I've got to do it just in case they don't protect. Yeah, I oh, should have faked out Xerneas, man. I, I nearly did. I wish I did now. That's kind of frustrating. Yeah. Yeah, I'll lose now. Oh, I should have faked out the Xerneas. Flipping neck. I could have fire punched it. Or should have U-turned. I played too aggressive, didn't I? I see my mistake. Yeah, I put way too. Nope, no. I play way too aggressive. Way too aggressive. <laughs> Unless Groudon misses Prespice now against my Incineroar, then I, I will be just lose, I think. No. Yeah, Salons Salons can't take this, I'm afraid. Oh, that's a shame. We're doing alright then. I should. I know what I should have done. I don't know why I didn't. I was just being. I was just being aggressive for for no for silly reasons. I should. I should have. I should have swapped. I should have swapped an in Incineroar. And stalled out the Tailwind. I don't think I can take a dazzling gleam with Groudon. I mean, I could try. I guess I could try. I don't think there's much hope though for it. We can try. Let's see Moonbar Salamons for, for whatever reason, but I don't, I don't think you really should. You should just do what you've been doing. Yeah. Bye bye, Gradle. That's a shame. I should have played safe. I know exactly how that would have turned out if I played it safe as well. It's really silly, like I can picture the turns in my head. There we go, guys. Play safe. <laughs> Stay safe. Why didn't I switch it in the rolling? The Geomancy was fine. I just protect switching into the roll. Fake out. And voila. Fake out. You know, get another round of intimidating with my Salamence and then just played it like that, played it safe. Not not played it stupid, just attacking. Yes, that was silly. Right, let's have another one. Continue battling. A <laughs> double did do a lot. I didn't think it would do that much, to be honest. It did do, it did do a lot, didn't it? It is a strong attack. I always forget how strong it is. 
Hot cocoa from Japan. Okay, this is where... Uh, this really depends on what they lead. Like, I want to lead... Oh, I need to lead... I, wanna, I need to lead Salmon's, really. Um, Salmon's Finny? It's not dreadful. Um, right, I've got Salmon's Finny. I need Xerneas. I don't need Dinosaur. I'm gonna try and pick up the Nihilego straight away. If I can. If I can, can, can. If my opponent goes Xerneas in Cinero, I'll just swap. I'll just double switch. And Max a Geomancy. Oh, they got Nihilego in Cinero. Probably something different every time, don't I? <laughs> I'm just gonna protect. Oh, I don't want to. I'm gonna get Nature's Madness off on the inside of I don't think he's gonna be sash near Lego. It's not UC on this team. And I feel like you fake out Finny. No, I don't know. You probably do fake out men's. But you probably don't expect earthquake. It's not super. It's not common, really, is it? Or do you U-turn? U-turn will be a good play. Okay. Yeah. Sludge bomb. Yeah. Well, I'll live this. Ah, oh, just misses my berry. Oh, that's fine though, because earthquake will proc it. This is what actually happened in the game in the region as well. Right, that's a nice good chunk on Incineroar as well. I like Wind as well, just in case Nihil I go is Sash, and I probably should be able to live another Sludge Bomb actually, looking at how much that did, if I get my berry off. Possibly. Wait, don't be Sash. It won't pick up Incineroar. It'll definitely pick up Nihil I go though. And it's Sash. And I didn't do much to my own, so I should be able to live and get an Icy Wind off. Yeah, I should live this. He did like 110 last time, I think. Hmm. He did 110, did it? 116? So it's like a roll, maybe? Oh, what? In CMZ? I was expecting him to be Z Nihiligo, to be honest. Will this knockout Salmon's at Neg 1? Actually, this, is, this isn't bad because I can't. I'll be able to geomancy. Nah, that's not knocking me out. So actually, I've got this like the safest geomancy ever because I, all I need to do is I don't even need to earthquake. I just need to hyper voice. Hyper voice geomancy. <clears throat> and what else does my opponent have for Xerneas in the back? I've got Incineroar for an intimidate. They've got a Moongus. That's the only thing I'm a bit scared of. This is fine though. I'm a bit annoyed about that game we played, but last game, you know, I'm still thinking about it. Like, I've, I just played so aggressive, there was no need for it, was there? I'm going on autopilot, clicking buttons, just expecting to just win and click buttons. But no, I needed to switch, and I, it was so obvious. I do apologise about that. Poor play! Yeah, this is a double KO. And this is a 3 Geomancy. Obviously, there's no point in Earthquake in when Hyper Voice can do the same job. Interesting to see. I did see a Sash Neil Ego. I, I played two Neil Ego, Neil Egos. But, um, at Sheffield. One was Sash, but one wasn't. Okay. 
I'm guessing it's going to be Ray Amoongus in the back. Possibly. Definitely Ray. Ray Finney? Yes, Ray. Oh, it's Ray Xerneas. I'm just trying to think what type of Ray is this, though. I'm just going to dazzle an hyper voice. I, I don't want it to be um, a focus sash. Probably his focus stuff then. I don't know if, if, if Dazzle plus Hyper Voice might get the Xerneas so. though. Oh yeah. Oh god, that's a lot of damage. This should probably pick it up to be honest now. Yeah, plenty. That's why you run bulk, ladies and gentlemen. That's why you run bulk. And yeah, this is a... Unless you just double edge and uh, boom boss now. I'm guessing this is Sash Ray. Maybe not. Could be Bulky Berry, but I don't think Bulky, <laughs> Bulky Berry can't live a Moonblast. Not without light screen. Oh no, it can't be Focus Sash. Night Legal is Focus Sash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Light Bulb. Yeah, there we go. That was a pretty quick game. Well, we're only 20 minutes in, should I do another one? I might as well play one more. Those were really quick games, so I will, we'll play one more. I mean, the first one, my opponent quit after I like, one turned in this, so, so we, might as well play, uh, we might as well play one more. And then we'll call it a day. Well, that was a bit better. I didn't expect it to be Z in Cinderella. I was, I was kind of, I kind of expect Nile Eagle to be Z to be Z nowadays. Rocky and Z. I think that's a, it's a good set that Rocky and Z one. Especially if you get rid of like all the checks to it. Like if you get if, like pl plus one Rocky and Z. Oh, oh, power jump. That that'll do an absolute. That probably gets growled on. Oop. Grabbing wild Pokemon version one. Something we've never heard. Oh no. Oh no, this is Baz's team. <laughs> oh no! I'm terrified of this team. Right. Well, at least I know what it does. I know what it does. I watched this team report. I know what this does. So it's gravity spam. So, I need to be careful. I've got Finny at least. That's good. Uh, Finny helps. Finny definitely helps. Um, it's Psyche and Z Me too, isn't it? Um, I can't bring Thunderous. <laughs> It's not QR code, so it, it might be a little bit different. So I need to be a bit wary of that as well. I want to lead Incineroar Finny, but... Actually, I'm going to lead this. I'll explain why. Um, I think I need to bring Xerneas. So I'm going to try and... and I know... Oh, no, 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 I didn't want to lead Le Finny. Oh, no, I'm so stupid. I didn't want to lead Finny. I meant to lead instead of all ground on. That was bad. That's bad. <laughs> right, well, I'll have to do it a different way now. I didn't want to lead Finny. I want to switch Finny in just in case he didn't lead Lele. Never mind, don't bother. Let's just see what happens. Right. I hope this isn't different to Baz's team. I hope it's the actual one. Because I literally watched the team report like four hours ago, so it's fresh in my mind, sort of. Okay, they did leave Tappy Lady, so that's 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 kind of that's alright then. We're safe Um Yeah, we're safe. I can literally Do I wanna press press? So they had Psychic, I think. I don't take a Psychic on my Groudon. 
Hmm, I could I could press piss and heal pulse. I don't want to take a sidekick, that's all. I'm gonna do that actually. I hope this room's got to now encore either. Yeah. I think you're just psychic into Groudon. I'm pretty sure it's adrenaline orb. Thanks! <laughs> oh yeah, I'm faster. Haha! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Forgot about that. But I thought it was gonna psychic, so I don't wanna. I just remembered I didn't do that. I wasn't that silly. Do I see window? What was even gravity and gravity? Does it just do nothing? I actually don't know that. Maybe I should have healed Pulse this turn, actually. That was a bit silly. God. Well. Good job I didn't, um. Good job I see Windu, didn't it? Yeah, that's psychic. That's what I expected before. I hope this puts. Um. Windu Tot in range? Yeah, it definitely does. I'm no, not missing any icy wins today. There we go. Chrissy Pies. Chrissy Pies Blades, mate. Doesn't sound good. Right, well, we've got double KO. We've got three turns of Tailwind, and we're going to see Groudon and Mewtwo. Guarantee it. Calling it now. Groudon, Mewtwo. Watch. Groudon. Show me the Mewtwo! Oh, it's Shiny Groudon. Oh, it's Gengar! Oh. Oh, well, that's not as fun. Um. That's not as fun. What HP is my Groudon? Ah, oh, it's too, it's too up. I have to swap an in row. There's a good chance we still lose this, actually. It depends. If Finny's Berry gets procced by the Sludge Bomb, then yes, we're cr we've cracked it. But if not, then we're... Oh, God. I, I need an Icy Wind off on both. Like, it's very important. I need Finny to live this turn. Actually, comes on as if. If Finny doesn't survive this turn, I I'll lose, I think. <laughs> and it's a Mega Gengar. Shock horror, everyone is so surprised by this shocking shock. Yeah, please prop my very. It doesn't. Bugger. That's bad. Damn, that's that's actually really bad. Don't tell me Incineroar's either. Oh, okay, well, that, that's slightly better. Um think I know this is a fast ground on the that's the only issue. I think I have to bring I think I have to bring in my ground on to threaten like I've, I've not really got a choice here. I'm gonna lose to this. I'm gonna U-turn my own Groudon. Is it worth swords dancing? I'm not gonna knock that Groudon out otherwise. I think I'm gonna go for it. I think you protect your Groudon. I needed that. <clears throat> okay. 
because it means I can get one more Intimidator. After Xerneas dies. I could try, try a Geomancy anyway. Just in case. Like, I feel like my opponent has to go for Groudon, really, with both. This isn't Neg 1. Oh, I'm just going to attack. I can't afford not to attack with Groudon. I'm, I'm going to lose Groudon, though. I know it's a fast Groudon. I will live a Sludge Bomb from, with Xerneas, for sure. But then I don't think I can... Oh, Incineroar can beat the Gengar. Kind of. And if it is jolly, max speed Groudon, then it's not got as much bulk. This team's really awkward to play against. That's into Groudon. Yeah. T is faster. Well, I had to do that. <sighs> Which is a shame. Itchy eye off. Fake out Dazzle. Oh no, they're going to go for Blind Hypnosis, aren't they? Oh no, I know exactly what's going to happen. Oh man, this team. I, I, I wanted to switch Finny in originally and, and like, I, should, I led with it back accident. That was a mistake. Like, I wanted to, yeah. I have to dazzle. And then Moonblast one of them. Probably Groudon. He just double protect here. He might not protect Gengar actually. I think he can go for Hypnosis. They've got to. Yeah. They go for Hypnosis. Watch it hit. He's gonna hit. Calling it now. Calling it now. Please don't hit. Just sludge bomb. Don't poison. Don't poison. <sighs> oh, that actually did way more than I expected. I have to double ground on. Incineroar can be can beat Gengar, but Incineroar can't beat Groudon, that's the thing. Protect your Gengar. I miss your Presence Blades! <laughs> oh my god, this team. They should do a lot if it's not as bulky. Uh, that's not enough, don't jump, don't jump's not enough. Oh man, that was rough. <laughs> Am I going to have to start running max speed Groudon now to counter this max speed bloody Groudon? And that's why that team went 10-0 at Sheffield, guys, because that is just, it's just, that's, it, that was just some, some, somebody running it. It's just really hard to deal with. Maybe I shouldn't have let Groudon take that psychic damage, but... Mm, Finny going the, the Finny going down as well. So it's probably not procking the berry. That's bad. I suppose it's because he's probably not running that much investment on special attack. I don't know. That team is really good. So, yeah. I, I haven't actually thought of a way to play against that really, apart from bring Finny. But if Finny goes down, and we're left with that, a very fast ground and a very fast Gengar. Ah, oh, it's kind of rough, isn't it? <laughs> Obviously, as we saw. Anyway, just watch this book, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you all in a bit.